Hello, hello, my dear students. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm very well. How about you? How was ah, your week? I was good. It was very nice. A lot of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But it, it was nice. Okay. It was nice and interesting. <laughs> it was ah. interesting. It was okay. interesting. Yes. Sounds right. Yes. You never know what the future is going to, <laughs> to bring yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. But it was a nice week indeed. Okay. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. What about yours? What did you do? Mine was like kind of busy really why yeah my dad uh, we celebrate his birthday yesterday hey. my dad. okay and the cake mm -hmm. we, <laughs> <laughs> we we had a big party what a beautiful thing yeah. i think when you celebrate life it's, it's pretty awesome right it's pretty awesome that you celebrate with family and friends i got the cake <laughs> yeah, it, it is it is beautiful. I think whatever thing that you celebrate, even if it is a small or big, it, it's memorable and it is yeah, pretty awesome. Exactly. Yeah. So congratulations to your dad. How uh, how I mean how many years was he celebrating? She com she got the 78. 78? Yeah. How oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, do you have a big family? Do you come from a big family? Yeah, we are 12. That's one. That's fantastic. Us, yeah. <laughs> that's fantastic. Two, I, I imagine. Two ladies uh -huh. and, and 10 men. And 10 boys. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I really admire your mother. Believe me. Thank you so much. I admire her because I have only one and I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many children do you have? I, I, I don't have children. You yet. don't have children yet? Yet. No. <laughs> okay, yeah. So prepare. <laughs> Maybe soon. Soon, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah, but because imagine with 12, my goodness. I admire so, her. Yo la admiro de verdad. Yeah. <laughs> my grandmother, my grandmother had 10 children as well so my father has nine brothers and sisters it is a lot of people no. <laughs> so when it's, we it's when we nice celebrate a... a lot of people yeah. you meet everyone like yeah and they say like ese es tu primo no sé quién y ese es tu primo no sé quién y ese es tu primo no sé quién y ese es tu primo no sé quién nice to meet you <laughs> yeah <laughs> you never know okay yeah. well so Edgar yeah. yes were you going to tell me something else uh, no, I just wanted to say that when we get together with the big family, it's a, a, a big party. <laughs> I imagine a lot of noise, yeah. right? I love that, that it's pretty like noisy and everything. And you listen to the laughing of people and it's, it's fantastic. Exactly. You can, you can tell that there is a party when we get together well okay. my dear students welcome everybody welcome i hope you had a beautiful weekend and i am very glad to see you here again right hello sesti hello karen hello nidia edson joanna katherine reinita jenny mr miguel samuel jesus welcome to the class you know it is pretty curious when we have just started. Yo siento que les acabo de decir, hola, bienvenido. Hi, Joanna, good evening. Siento good que evening, les acabo teacher. de decir, hola, miren, esta es nuestra, nuestra primera clase and everything. And now, this is the last week. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Who took my days? I said, yeah, everything has been so, so fast. But I think that you have actually advanced and learn a little bit about what we have been doing. I hope that all of you have advanced. It's Monday, teacher. <laughs> it's Monday. No, but Mondays are nice. I mean, <laughs> all the days are nice because we are here. <laughs> yeah, there are many people who's not here anymore, right? Hay alguno que ya no despertó ahora. So, yeah, we need, to, we need to be thankful about the day, the opportunity, everything exactly. that we have. So, I hope you had the chance to advance on the platform. Did you have the chance to finish it? Yes. yes, teacher. 
for me for me yeah fin finish okay. yes. Yes. that for yes finish yes teacher yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Me I finished. I finished. Excellent. Estrellita para todos. That's so fantastic. Me too, me too, teacher. I have finished the platform. Yay! With 100%? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. 100%. 100%. If you, okay, Jenny, be careful. Be careful because you are driving, you say. Be careful, please. So, if you are missing any any percentage, so please check it, check which exercise you are missing. Revisen cuál de los ejercicios el que le ha quedado por ahí en 70, 80, quizás alguna le quedó mala y así la ha dejado. Check every single exercise, okay? So you have a hundred percent of eh, the platform done. Okay, so we are going to be checking on that as well for you to keep everything, everything. Correct. Okay. So please, uh, I hope you all have had the chance to finish it. Today, we are going to work on unit number five. That is the last one. And curiously, unit number five is the easiest of all the different topics. Why? Because we are going to be using, we are going to be using a uh, going to going to is one of the easiest topics of the English language. We're going to use going to and will. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Uh, the Jenny write the chat. Yes, that she's driving. Yes, yes. She needs to be very, very careful because I mean, yes. I know we are very important, but safety is more important. Let me share my screen with all of you. We are going to start with unit number five today. Last week, what did we study last week? Who can tell me? ¿Qué estudiamos la semana pasada? Give me some uh, remarks about last week. A time for dream. Okay. We were talking. We were talking about the specific topics. Remember, we were talking about the food. The the food. food. What and else? We were talking about food. What else? And in prepare recipes. Present how to prepare recipes why we were talking about recipes fast simple versus present perfect okay we were talking about sequence adverbs, sequence adverbs right we were talking about the adverbs simple past versus present perfect very yeah. good yeah. so yes. we were using yeah, simple past versus present perfect right the questions have you ever have you ever and did right we were using the different uh, questions with simple past and present perfect related to food food procedures we were talking about frequency adverbs uh, sorry sequence adverbs and we were talking about the different procedures that you do for food right the different uh, cooking ways that you have and for sure the sequence adverbs that you use to explain how to prepare something and what is the order to create a recipe, right? You were doing beautiful recipes last, uh, last week, right? And you were cooking there for everybody. And uh, in this one, we had the reading that I told you that you could actually read, eating for energy, right? The food pyramid. Here in El Salvador, we don't actually respect the food pyramid that much because we mix up everything, right? Vegetables and fruits and carbohydrates and all these things. Like, so do you ever go to the nutritionist people? Yes, raise your hand if you do it. No, you avoid it. No, <laughs> uh, maybe not. <laughs> Yo soy mi propio nutricionista. Ya no más Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> no more sweet bread, you say. Yeah. Tell me, ra raise your hand. Raise your hand if this is true for you. Have you ever divorced from Coca-Cola? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever divorced from sweets? De los dulces? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, yes. <laughs> Have you ever divorced no. from Pan Frances? No. <laughs> Oh, no no more pan francés. <laughs> have you ever divorced? Have you ever divorced from rice? Yeah, no voy a comer arroz. Eh. Mm. 
<laughs> Have you ever divorced from sweet bread? Del pan dulce? Ever. <laughs> have, you, have you ever divorced from coffee? <laughs> no, never. Mm -hmm. Uy, uy, teacher, no. <laughs> so, have you, ever, have you ever divorced from snacks? Ya no más chuchería, ya no más. Mm, yes. So, <laughs> have is, you ever eh? divorced pupusas? Ah, from pupusas. <laughs> I will not eat pupusas for breakfast every day. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> the next day, menti. <laughs> and, then you go, and then you go and eat your pupusas. So that was when uh, the, the reading about right, eating uh, in a balanced way, right? Having a balanced diet. Eating enough, right? For you to feel satisfied and for you to actually check on what you are eating. Do you read and check on the labels of the products that you eat and that you buy? Se detienen a revisar las, cal las calorías y todas esas cosas de lo que compramos? Yes, rarely, rarely. <laughs> rarely. <laughs> never, never, teacher, never. <laughs> no. Two for one dollar. <laughs> You take that, all right. Mira, dice oferta, they say. And then, you, and then you get like seven. It's like, pero se vence mañana. Oferta. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we need to work a little bit on that one. And avoid eating fruit with, uh, eating food, fruit, <laughs> no, fruit, eat fruits, okay. Avoid eating food that are high in simple carbohydrates and sugars, right? This like, no more sugar. I won't take any sugar anymore. Mm, no. <laughs> Echele más café a su azúcar. <laughs> That you have a lot there. So that is eating a balanced diet, right? That, that was the reading about, and I hope that you have read it. And today we are going to talk about going places. In this one, we are going to be covering two topics, going to and will, that are used for you to talk about what? Past or future? Going to and will. Is it for? Yeah. The future, right? Near future, yeah. far future, right? Yeah. Done plans. That's when you use going to and will. Let's see. What people like to do on vacation? Tell me, do you like to go on vacation, people? Yes, I like. You like to go on vacation. Do you like to travel outside El Salvador? Yes, I like I yes, I like it. I like it too. Even if it is Guatemala, right? But uh, um, it's outside. Yes, teacher. I like I like I like to go Ruta de las Flores. Oh, so you travel here in the country, right? Yeah. Okay. Solo porque tiene nuevo estilo de peinado. Se cortó el pelo ahí, Jesús, mire, rejuvenecido, eh, elegante. Pasó la sanidad por aquí. <laughs> you look very nice, you look, you look elegant, you see? Thank so, you. Great. So, my dear students, what do people like to do on vacations? Let's see. Discover something new. Do you like to discover new places? Yes. Yes. Do you like to take language, cooking, or sailing lessons? Do you like to take yes. lessons when you are on vacations? Do you like to, uh, to join any type of team? Yeah. Yeah, for example, that you go and join a soccer team or join, a, I don't know, a cooking team or whatever other uh, type of group. So, do you like to take exciting trips? Yes. Or just normal ones? Take exciting adventures or normal adventures? Normal adventures. Right. Normal <laughs> adventures. <laughs> they say, okay, are, are you uh, this type of, uh, I don't know, people who like to go to the mountain or to the beach? Which ones do you prefer? Mountain. 
Mountain. Mountain. Mountain. Or the beach. Mountain. Or stay at home. <laughs> um, I prefer go to the mountain. To the mountain, to the beach, or mountain. to the little towns of El Salvador. There is another, we have this option, mm. right? To go to the little magical places of El Salvador. To places. Do you like to go places, to visit places? Yes, I like. Yes, okay, good, good. Mm. I like to do that as well. To visit little places, right? To go and eat, to have a good coffee, right? To check on, mm -hmm. on new stuff, right? New scenarios and new landscapes. Do you like to enjoy nature? Yes, I love it. Okay. Do you like to go fishing? Do you like to go fishing? No. No? No. You don't like to go fishing? No, teacher. Yeah. Yo no soy buena para pescar. Lo más que pesco es un catarro. <laughs> <laughs> Only chimbolos. Yeah, I am not good at fishing. I am not 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 good at fish uh, at fishing. Do you like to relax at the beach? Yes. In yes, the relax. Um, can... Yes, in the hammock. Right? Like in the hammock. To relax a lot in the hammock. How do you say that? I am going to send it on the chat for you, right? The hammock. Okay, there you go. Or do you like to stay at home? To catch up on reading. To fix yeah, it's up, good to stay at home as well. To fix up and redecorate the house. Do you like to stay at home? I do like to stay at home, right? Only rest at home. I Only rest too. at home, right? Let's see. What is the nearest vacation that we have? What is the nearest vacation that we have? ¿Cuál es la vacación más cercana que tenemos? Holy Week. Holy, Holy Week. Week. We have Holy, Holy Week. Week, right? We have Holy, Holy Week. Week. Holy Week. Easter is after that. Easter is Pascua, right? And it's after Holy Week, right? For Holy Week, what are your plans for Holy Week? Think about the things that you want to do. And I need you to... Write down some ideas. Write down some ideas. What are the things that you want to do for Holy Week? And I am going to give you the way to do it. Okay, yeah. I am going to give you the starting point. And you say, eh, okay, let me just mark it here. So you say, I am going to, and here you just use normal verbs. I am going to rest at home. I am going to, and you can also say here, I am going to go I am to going to the park. The church every day, almost every day. Okay, go I to, am going to go to the church. Go to the church. You are going to go to the church. I don't know. You are going to go to the beach. Go to the park. Go to the park. What are you going to do? for the visit, next holiday that the you're going to. I am going to visit my parents, right? I'm going to visit my parents. So, so write down the things that you are going to do for this coming uh, vacation that we're going to have, right? So write at least six or seven activities that you are going to do, okay? Six or seven activities that you are going to do. Go ahead. On your notebook, write them down. I am going to... Uh -huh. Let me know when you have them. At least six or seven activities. Go ahead.
when you have them, let me know. Remember that we use the normal form of the verb. Okay, do you have your sentences? Yes, no? Okay, I am going to send you to work in small groups while you finish, okay? And you are going to share your activities with your partners. So you say, for Holy Week, I am going to, and then you give your answer, right? I am going to, and you start reading, I am going to visit my family, I am going to visit my parents, I am going to cook a special food, I am going to travel, I am going to do many things, okay? So share it with your friends. We are going to have groups of five, so accept my invitation, we're going to go to the groups and you're going to share your answers. Go ahead, accept my invitation, please. And here you go. Excellent. Let's go to the groups. Nidia, did you get the invitation for the groups? Yes, I entered, but I sent it back here. Okay. I am going to send you back here. There you go. Jenny? Oh, Jenny is driving, right? Let's see. Jenny, I'll just be listening. Okay, Elvira is on her way from work. Samuel? Samuel, did you get my invitation? Hello, Danny, did you get my invitation? Hello, hello. Jose Daniel, le llegó mi invitación. No, I will send you right now to a group. Le dije, se acabó la plataforma, teacher, acabo de ingresar nuevamente. Ok, ahorita te la envío. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Reinita. Reinita, te llegó la invitación. Okay, uh, Jeremias, I will send you to one of the groups right now. I am, I am going to, to clean and to order a very thing in my house. Everything. I, everything, everything in my house. I am going to I am going to visit the shore. I am going the church, to church, 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 the church. I am going to to study other materials. I am going to 
I am going to to read this book <laughs> Good, that, that I I never uh, I never finish the read. I uh, never finish reading. Is it reading? Okay, I am going to to visit my my uncle. I am going to to drink one coffee with my sister in Le Café. Hi, then that's nice. That's that's only. That's very good. Very good job. Very good job. A lot of information. Nice. Continue sharing. Continue sharing, please. I am going to go and check the next group. I am going to cook a um, special food because I like uh, food with sweet. I ah, okay, know. sweet. Uh, you prepared? Do you prepare traditional traditional yes. sweets yes. for the? Uh, I that's love. Nice. Yeah. Okay, aquí, aquí por las cinco de noviembre. <laughs> uh, you, can, you can just call me and I will go, don't worry. <laughs> I pass uh, uh, near because my mom lives in Ciudad del Cabo. So, ah, so you see? only send me, only send only me tell me, Teacher, I am here with your candy, with your yes. sweets, and I will look yes. for you. <laughs> y ahí, mangos, ahí va a ver. Ahí mangos va a ver with con... <gasps> Yeah, <laughs> traditional. You say, uh, man I, I don't remember. Uh -huh. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, you say jocotes? Mumbings. Mumbings. Mumbings in syrup and in sweet. They are so delicious, my God. Those yes. traditional candies are very delicious. Great. Yes. Finish sharing with the group, please, and I will come back in a second, okay? I will come back in a moment. Yeah, so... Crowded or crowded, I think. Crowded. What was crowded? Yes. The beaches. Beaches. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. The 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 beaches. No. The beach is always <laughs> crowded. So you say the beach. Oh, and all different beaches of El Salvador are crowded, right? For okay. for these holidays. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. People can go to the beach every day of the year, but they all go. But, uh, but many the problem is but many people fall <laughs> yeah I mean that's a problem that we have to work and we don't have time to actually uh, go out right so we take yes. advantage of these days good I, let's see who else I prefer to stay home <laughs> yeah I prefer to stay home yes definitely it is better, right, to stay at home. Yeah. Well, finish sharing, people. I'm going to go to the last group to see if they have finished. No, no pude. ¿En cuál parte se quedó? Eh, es que la voy a buscar. Es que fue una donde se seleccionaban varias, como una selección antes de no la se elección. No se puede seleccionar. Eh, ahorita la voy a buscar. Is the platform? Yeah. Okay. Aquí asistencia técnica. <laughs> we, we do it at, at the moment, right? Yeah. Okay, Isabo, did you find it? Uh, yes, teacher, but I, I have a problem. What happened? Uh, una partecita que no la pude hacer. Me but salían mal, entonces... But which... Okay, okay, don't worry. So we're going to find it in a moment, okay? We're going to find it as well because we need to check on the platform in a moment. Well, let's go back to the, to the main room and then while you find it, we're going to check it out there, okay? okay? Let me see. Let me just go out from here. There we go. And let's go. Good. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you very much. 
So what is good about this topic and what is fantastic about going to and will is that you don't change it. It doesn't matter the subject that you are talking about, you don't change it. Because right now, if I ask you, eh, tell me information about Jancy or tell me information about Cesar or tell me information about Miguel or about Isabel, you are going to tell me she is going to, he is going to, I am going to, and you don't change anything. The only thing that you need to be careful about is the verb to be that you use in the sentence, right? That you say, I am and she is, right? That's the only thing that changes. You don't change going to, you don't change the verb, you don't change anything. So if I ask you to report about what your friends are going to do on your next vacation, how will you do it? Reportenme. ¿Qué van a hacer sus compañeros en la vacación? And you say, Sandra is going to do this. Isabel is going to do that. Edgar is going to do this. What are they going to do? Uh -huh. I need examples. Me teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Go ahead. Cesar stay at home. Cesar is going to? Is going to uh, stay at home. Very good. Cesar is going to stay at home. Edgar. Okay, yeah. Isabel is going to read a, a book. Isabel is going to read a book. Uh -huh. Karen, tell me another example. Edgar eat Torrejas. I am going to eat Torrejas. Uh -huh. Edgar. Okay, let's complete the sentence. Edgar is going to eat Torrejas. Eat torrejas. That's a complete mm -hmm. sentence, right? Edgar is going to eat Torrejas. Okay, Jenny, give me one sentence about what you heard. Uh, I'm in problem because <laughs> um, uh, I was late. Okay, so give me one. To... Give me one example of your own. What are you ah, going okay. to do on your next vacation? Of course, in my in vacation, I'm going to go to the church. I am going to go to the church. Good. Let me see, Edson. Give me one example from your friends. Okay. And for example, uh, uh, Eduardo uh -huh. going to uh, the, the gym. Uh -huh. Eduardo, Eduardo is, uh, is <laughs> going to going to go going to the to gym. Go to the gym. The gym. Okay, remember that that is very important, right? It is very important that we keep every single piece of the sentence because that's the most common mistake that we eat parts of the sentence. And we say, for example, mm -hmm. Eduardo, let's take the, the example of Eduardo, right? Eduardo is going to go to the gym, right? That's the sentence that we have in the period, for sure. That's a sentence that we have about Eduardo, right? And there you have the different parts of the sentence, right? In this one, as you can see here, we have the subject. Sorry, this is a little bit, okay, not straight. There we go. We have the verb to be, right? We have going to, and then you have the complement, right? So in this one, you have to be very careful. Here you can use any person. And you say, for example, Karen. What verb are you going to use with Karen? Is. 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 And then this is the same, right? Um, you say going to. Karen is going to. What is Karen going to do? Karen is going to. Cook. To cook. To cook. <laughs> traditional food, okay? She is going to cook traditional food. And there you go, and there you have the sentence, right? And if you say, I, if you are talking about you, you say, I am um. going to, I am going to, I am going to uh, visit. To the, to the, to the, to the okay. Okay, I am going to go to the beach. You say, I am going to visit my family. You say, visit mm. my relatives. 
I am going to visit my relatives. In this case, you say, I am. If you are talking about all my students, all my students, for sure, they, oh, 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 my God. They are, are going. They are going to practice going. English. Uh -huh. All the vacation. Yeah, vacation. for sure. They are going to practice English. All the vacation. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. And these are the different sentences that you have. If you know that something is not going to happen, that you say, ah, 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 ah. so you say, they aren't or they are not, right? They aren't going right. to practice English. They aren't going to visit parents. They aren't going to cook. Edgar, Eduardo is, uh, isn't going to the gym, right? He isn't going to go to the gym because that's a negative, right? You make the negative on the verb to be. Karen is not going to cook traditional food. I am not going to visit my relatives. They aren't going to practice English. So that's the way you do it in the affirmative and the negative sentences. If you are going to make a question, people, if you are going to make a question, you have to take the verb to be to the beginning of the sentence, right? And how does it look? Is Eduardo going to go to the gym? And then you have a question mark here. Is Eduardo going to go to the gym? Yes, he is. Yes, he is going to go. Or no, he is not going to go. Is Karen going to cook traditional food? And then you have the question, right? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. You well, cannot make a negative question, right? In this one, you say, are, are they going to practice English? Yes, they are going to practice English. What is the difference between going to and will? What is the difference yeah. between going to and will? Will is the future. It's, it's both yeah. of them are future, but you will, say will going is a probability. Uh, you are not sure about the plans, and okay. going to you are sure. Okay, you are sure about the plans, but if you say in the structure, I will go to church. What is something that you don't use with will? ¿Qué es lo que no usamos con will? ING. Mm -hmm. The ING going to, but you don't use it. But what is something that you don't use with will? The and verb. Will be exactly like that. Ting, 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 ting. There you go. Estrellita para ti. Very good. <laughs> Let me find it. <laughs> Let me find it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, no. Corazoncito para ti. There you go. I will go to church. You don't say, I am will go. Mm -mm -mm. I am will go. No, please, no. Se muere un Larus si lo ponen así. Ok. Se muere un Minisopena. <laughs> un diccionario. <laughs> I will go to church, right? I will cook. I will dance. I will eat. I will do whatever you want, right? She will go. They will go. We will go. With all the subjects is the same, right? And you don't change it. You don't say, I will to go. I will to cook. No. So, you use going to, yes, but will to, no existe. I will go to church. I will go to the supermarket. I will visit my mother. I will study English, right? That is the difference between these two forms of future. And as Jenny was mentioning, one is more objective than the other one, because you say like, I am going to do that. You are sure about it, right? You have your plans ready for that. And you know that you are going to do it. But with will, you say like, yes, I have thought about it, right? It's like, I have considered it. Lo tengo pensado. Y creo que lo voy a hacer. I will, right? So that is the main difference. But in grammar, the difference is what I was mentioning, right? I am going to and I will. That is the difference. The two of them are future, yes. The two of them are to talk about things that you have decided to do later on. Yes. Okay. Probability and possible plans with will. Okay. I have here a conversation. Let's read it. And first of all, let's find the use of will and going to. Okay. Sentences in future. 
which ones. Oraciones en futuro que puedan identificar en la conversación. What are you going I to? Will, I will just what? stay at home. Ajá, uh -huh. but the first one is, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. I, I guess, am going to I'll just stay home. I will just I'll stay catch home. up on my reading. I will catch up on my reading. Very good. I'm going to take I'm long walks along. Reading. I am going to take long walks along. The beach okay. every day. At the beach every and day. Do lots of swimming. You are going to do lots of swimming, right? So, and in this one, we I have. I would love to. Okay, I would love to is not a future, right? Me encantaría, decimos. Me encantaría. Mm -hmm. That is like when you are a, when you are agreeing to do something, right? Imagine if, for example, someone was mentioning. Let me see. Here I have it. Let me just check. I need to check. And it was cha -cha -chan, Cecilia. Cecilia says that she is going to make traditional candies. And she said, teacher, if you want candy, I can give you candy. And I say, I would love to. Me encantaría. Yes, please. <laughs> right? I would love to. If you say, I am going to take a, uh, I'm going to drink some coffee with my sister in Le Café. Hey, would you like to go? Yes, I would love to. Me encantaría ir. Right? I would love to. I love invitations, people. I love. I mean, if you tell me, teacher, like, I would love to. Let's do it. Right? Not at night because I have classes with you. I am so excited. It says, I am so excited. Estoy emocionada. I am so excited. We have two weeks off. Tenemos dos semanas. Libres. Right? We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I will just stay home. Whatever, uh, maybe I will catch up on my reading. What is the meaning of I will catch up on my reading? I will catch up on my reading. What is that? What is the meaning of I will catch up? Uh -huh. Me entendré mi lectura. I don't know. Mm, no, I will catch up on my reading. Imagine that you are reading this book. Let me just get one book. Imagine that you are reading this book, but you started reading and you left it eh, here on the third page. Por ahí lo he dejado en la tercera página. You say, le voy a poner esta marca porque después voy a terminar. And then the book has been there forever. And then the book is just there all dusty because you never finished. Oh, this is kind of dusty. As well. <laughs> so the book is kind of dusty because you never touch it. But when you say like, today I am going to catch up on my reading. And then you continue, right? You continue where you left it until you finish. I will catch up on my reading. Me voy a poner al día. I will catch up with my things. I will catch up with my work. I will catch up with the exercise that I started on January 1st, right? El ejercicio que hicimos el primero de enero. I will catch up with that. <laughs> only the only January 1st, right? Because we didn't continue, right? I will catch up with. Me voy a poner al día con mi lectura. What about you? Any plans? Well, my parents have rented a condominium in Florida. I am going to take long walks along the beach every day and do lots of swimming. Sounds great. It says like, nice, right? Sounds great. Say, why don't you come with us? We have plenty of room. Tenemos un montón de espacio. Do you mean it? I love to. It's like, do you mean it? It's like, ¿me está, me está hablando en serio? Do you mean it? I would love to. Right? And for sure, who is going to, who's not going to say yes to a condominium in Florida? Take me there, I will say. <laughs> okay? I am going to, for sure, join the person, right? Go with me. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. We have, we two, have weeks two weeks off. off. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Yo no te creo que estás emocionado. 
<laughs> I'm so excited. You say, yay. I'm so excited, bitches. <laughs> so, ya ven, pues, es por, ahí dicen que por qué se acaban las relaciones amorosas. ¿Te gustó el ramo de flores? Lindo. Bien lindo. <laughs> you need to be expressive, people. If not, it is not what you say it. It's how you say it. The problem is like, I love you. I love you too. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> are broken at the moment. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. Moment, moment. What are you going to do? What are, what going are you going to, going to do? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. sure. I'm not sure. I guess I will just stay home. I guess I, I, guess I will stay, stay home. home. Maybe I will catch up on my reading. Maybe, Maybe I, will I will catch up on my reading. On my reading. On my reading. On my reading. What about you? Any plans? What, What about, about you? About you? About you? Any plans? plans? Well, my parents have rented a condominium in Florida. Well, uh, well my parents have rented, rented a condominium, a condominium, a condominium in, Florida. in Florida. I'm going to take long walks along the beach every day and do lots of swimming. I'm going to take going a long, long walk along, 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 along the beach every day. Swimming. 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 Sounds great. Sounds, Sounds great. great. Sounds great. Sounds great. 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 That's a difference. <laughs> Sounds great. Hmm. <laughs> like ni siquiera le dice nada like sounds great you say say why don't you come with us say why don't you come with us why don't you come with us yo creo que no lo quieren llevar but why don't you come with us <laughs> why don't you come with us we have plenty of room we have plenty of room we have plenty of room, we have plenty of room. Do you mean it? Do you, you mean, mean it? it? I love to. I, I love, to. love to. I love to. Okay. I love to. Let me see. I have here Edgar. I have Jesus. I have Jose Daniel. I have Edson. I have Eduardo Jose, Samuel, Jeremias, Miguel, and let me see, and Jose Fernando. All of you, all the boys are Julia, and all the girls are Nancy, okay? Well, okay. all the boys are the boys, and all the girls are Nancy, okay? Yes. One, two, boys, are you ready? Yes. Yes? Yeah. 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 I was ready. born ready, teacher, you say. Ready. Girls, are you ready? All right. Yes. Ready. Oh, for yeah. sure, ready. for teacher. sure, very good. Okay, let me see. Ten, ten, ten. Hey, Mr. Guadalupe, what is it? He was here a couple of minutes ago. Aha, uh -huh, se me fue huyendo. Okay, one, two, three, boys. I'm, I'm, so, excited. I'm so excited. We have, we have to, we have to, to, to wake up. Oh, what, are what are you going to do? I'm not sure. I just stay home. Maybe I'll just stay home. I'll catch up on my radio. I'll catch up on my radio. Any plans? Well, well, my parents are going to go to the I'm going to go to the every day. I'm going to go to the swimming. And the love of the mission will be. Sounds great. Hey, why don't you come with us? We have plenty of room. We have plenty of room. We have plenty of room. Very good. And ladies. Do you mean you mean it? I love, love, I love to. Okay, <laughs> let's switch the roles now, ladies. You are going to be Julia, and boys, you are going to be Nancy. Okay, okay. action. Okay. I'm, I'm so, so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just stay, stay home. Stay I'll home. stay home. Maybe I'll, Maybe I'll catch up on my reading. My reading. But what about you? you? Any plans? Well, well my, my parents, parents have a condominium, condominium in Florida. In Florida. 
take long walks along, 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 along the beach, 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 beach every day. You can, can do a lot of swimming. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Say, Say why, why don't, don't you come with us? We have plenty of room. Do you mean it? I love to. I love to, love to. I love to right? I would love to. to. Me encantaría. I would love to. Very good job, right? Yeah, a little bit of more excitement on the pronunciation would be good, right? I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are we going to do, right? Remember? that we need to transmit the messages with our pronunciation, but it was very good. So here, we have this little exercise for you and you have it on the manual as well. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I have decided on one thing. I go camping. That's great, for how long? I, for a week. I only have five days of vacation. So when are you leaving? I am not sure. I probably, probably live around the end of May. And where? Go. I haven't thought about that yet. I guess, I, I guess, that's a probability, I will hmm, go to one of the national parks because it's a possible thing. That sounds like fun. Well, maybe I hiking and some fishing. You rent a camper? I'm not sure, actually. I probably rent a camper. It's too expensive. You go with anyone? No, I need some time alone. I travel by myself, okay? So I need you to help me with the answers of these sentences. You can write numbers from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, right? We have 11 spaces. Pueden hacer números del 1 al 11 y ir llenando por cada uno de los espacios o pueden ir copiando las oraciones. It's okay for, for me in both cases. I am going to call the attendance. Meanwhile, le voy a pasar lista mientras tanto. And uh, when you listen to your name, say here or press it, okay? So right now, complete the exercise and I will call the attendance right now. Okay para mientras te paso asistencia. You can work on the exercises. Let me see. Here we go. Okay, great. Let's see, let's see. On your notebook, please. Okay, most of you have finished the platform. That's fantastic. And... Here we go. Okay, Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Eh, Cecilia. Here, teacher. Cesar Guadalupe. He was here. <laughs> the Edgar Abel. Present, teacher. Edson. Present, teacher. Eduardo José. Here, teacher. Elvira. Here, teacher. Ever Ernesto. Isabel? Present teacher. Thank you. Ever? I saw Ever. I don't know where he was. Well, let's hear. Uh, Jenny? Here, here teacher. Thank you. Jeremias? Present teacher. Thank you. Joanna Yesenia? Present teacher. Jose Daniel? Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Fernando. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Catherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Angel. Present. Nidia. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Reinita. Hey, I'm here in the chat. Okay, thank you very much. Samuel? Present teacher. Sandra Leticia? Thank you. I saw your little hand like that. And Jancy Astrid? Here, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. 
let's go back here to the answers. Okay, thank you to the ones on the chat. No tengo audio, Mrs. Right. Okay, for the first one, people, it says like, have you made any vacation plans? Well, I have decided on one thing. If it is a decided thing, si ya lo decidimos y está ya pactado, so you say, I, I am going, 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 going to, I am going to, right? I am going to go camping, right? I am going to go camping, right? Because it is a decided thing. I already decided that I am going to do that. Let me just keep it there. I need to change the color of this. I'm going to go camping. That's great for how long? And it says, I, I am going, I'm going, going to be, be away, away for a week. a week. I am going to be I, away. I am going to be away for a week. I am going to be away for a week. I only have five days on of vacation. So, when are you leaving? I'm so, not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, will, I, will probably, I will probably. I will probably leave around the, the end, end of May. Around the end of May. And where? Where are, are you, you going? You going to where to go? are you? Going to, going to go. going to go and where are you going to go i haven't thought about that yet i guess i i will go going i will go, go. I because will you go. say i guess i will go to I one of the national parks that sounds like fun yeah maybe i i will, will go. go i will go, go hiking go. and do some and fishing do okay you can say i will or i am going to in this case, I am going to I go will. hiking and do some fishing because he has decided on that, right? Porque ya lo decidió. It can be will or it can be a going to. I am going to go hiking and do some fishing. Are you? Are you? Are you going to? Are you going to rent a camper? Are you going to rent a camper? Or you say, will you rent a camper? I'm not sure actually, right? Will you? It's I'm not sure actually. Probably I I probably will, I will rent I will. a camper. It's too rent. expensive. Oh, in this case, you say I probably the negative form will be I probably won't. I probably won't. It's here, right? It's here at the beginning. I probably won't, won't do it, right? Quizás no lo voy a hacer. So in this case, let me just go back here. I probably won't. I probably won't rent a camper, it's too expensive. Are you, sorry. Are you, Are you going, going to, to go with anyone? Going to go with anyone? No, I need some time alone. I will travel by myself. I will travel by myself, right? I don't want to go with anybody. I am going to go by myself. So these are the different forms of will and going to. This is the question that I was making uh, at the beginning of the class. Esta fue la pregunta que les hice al principio de la clase. How are you going to spend your next vacation? What are you going to do, right? Are you going to go anywhere? And you said, yes, I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to go here and there. When are you going to take your vacation? How long? What are you going to do? And is anyone going to travel with you? Okay, so for tomorrow on the audio, you are going to tell me a little bit about your next vacation. What are you going to do? What are your plans? Who are you going to go with? Where are you going to go? And the answers for these questions, okay? So on the audio, on the audio for tomorrow, please, on the audio for tomorrow, where are you going to go? Who are you going to go with? What are you going to do? What, what number activities? Of uh, it's going to be like, uh, what, say, number what number of page? The page is page number 29. Page? 29. 
page number 29 or 30 on your manual, okay? 30 on the manual. So that will be for the audio tomorrow, okay? Have it ready. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. Please don't forget it, okay? Chicos, les he enviado material al chat. Tienen estudio, tienen lecturas, tienen un montón de cosas. Take advantage of the material, okay? Ahí les envié el tema también. So please practice. Tienen una lectura comprensiva. ¿Quién la vio ya? ¿Quién la revisó? De Benicio Scrooge. I was checking. Uh, uh, okay, you did it. You check it, okay? If you haven't, please give a quick look to it. It is going to be very beneficial for your practice. Have a wonderful night. And I am here, Miss Sandra Leticia. <laughs> okay. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. It was a great class teacher. It was a beautiful class. Everyone. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Good, good night, Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. See you.